in this lesson we're going to look at using our calculator to solve matrix operations. So if you don't have your graphics calculator at home, I've attached the calculator emulator to today's lesson in sector. So all you have to do is click on it and download it to open the calculator. So we go through an example here. Now once you're in the calculator, we have two matrices here. Now remember, you have to check the order to make sure that we can actually do the multiplication. This matrix is a two by three, this is a three by four, and therefore the orders check out, we're okay to do that multiplication. Now, what you have to do on your calculator, you'll notice that on the bottom of the screen, there's the letters MAT, That's stand, that stands for matrix. So if I click F1, that brings me into these different matrix matrices. So I am going to first input this matrix here as my matrix A and then I'll input this matrix as my matrix B. So matrix A is dimensions or order 2 by 3. So I write 2, execute 3, execute and now I can put in the value. So I have negative 1, 2, 5, 8, 6, negative 4. So I'll quickly put in those values. Negative 1, execute 2, execute 5, 8, 6, negative 4. And once I've entered that all in, I click execute. Sorry, I click exit. And it brings me back to this screen. Now I'm going to put this matrix into matrix B on the calculator. So again, the order is 3 by 4. So 3 rows, 4 columns. And now I can put in my values. So I have 7, negative 2, 9, 1, 0, 8, negative 3, negative 5, 5, negative 4, 2, and 6. And I click exit and then I click exit again. Now, those values that I just stored in the calculator are saved. So that the A matrix is still stored and the B matrix is still stored. Now, they would like us to multiply these two matrices by each other. So what I have to do is you'll notice that above the 2 in yellow, there's the letters MAT. So to get the yellow function, I have to click Shift, and then I click MAT, which gives me the matrix. Now remember, I've already stored the matrix A, so you will notice above this button there's a little A and it's red. So if I click Alpha A, now I've got matrix A, and I want to multiply it by matrix B. So again, I need to get to the yellow, so I click shift, matrix, and alpha B. So now I've got matrix A times matrix B. And if I click execute, you'll notice that the numbers which pop out are the same as what they are showing the product to be. So this is a good way to check your answers. Now we've already learned how to do those multiplications manually in the in any type of assessment piece that we have, you'll be have to be able to show that you can do it manually as well as using technology. So now another thing that we can do, so if I if we have a look at our matrix A, so again I click F1, I look at matrix A. So you can see this value is negative 1, 2, 5, 8, 6, negative 4. Now remember we can multiply we can have multiples of matrices. So if I was to multiply the matrix A by the scalar number 2, all of these values will be doubled. So let's have a look if our calculator will do that. If I go 2 times matrix, so again shift matrix alpha A and click execute, you'll notice that all of these values have been doubled. So that's another function that we can do with the calculator. Now if we had two matrices which were of the same order, you could also use the calculator to add or subtract those matrices.
So as I was saying, I've listed some questions on sector. You'll be able to have a go at using your calculator to solve those. If you finish those pretty quickly, and some of you will, then what I'd like you to do is to go back to our questions from yesterday related to matrix multiplication. Make sure you finish them off. If you haven't been keeping up to date with the videos, you need to go back and watch them and make sure that you're up to date with the content because I'm not going to go over the content again. The content is all uh, updated to sector as well as in the 11 general maths playlist in my YouTube channel. So if you've got any questions, I'll be on Teams ready to ask, answer any questions you might have.